But now when the shoes get flipped, we can't get that privilege. Are well, you I'm, serious? I'm, I'm, well, listen, I don't know who taught you that lesson, but they should have taught you the lesson. Whoever you have a child with, marry her and start a family. Because we talk about we don't do so no, families is outdated. To you when you talk, you got three kids by three different women and two other possible women potentially. So that's two five women. women that might have your children all together. And yet you are on my show looking for a new woman. So you couldn't sit down with one of those five women and start and build a, a two family household. So all these people that was giving you life lessons when you yeah. was a child, they should have said whoever you have a baby with, marry her and start the family. So you gotta be on Kendra G show one day looking for baby mama number six. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of What Foolery. Okay. All right. So some of you ladies been asking for, y'all been asking for, what about the men? What about the men? I got one for you. This brother came on Kendra G and uh, and she ate that butt up. He came on just, I don't know why, but he came on and she put him in his place. I can't say nothing about it. She, I mean, dude, kind of asked for this one. But, you know, I always say, guys, don't set yourself up. Just don't do it. Some guys can get away with saying some things. Some guys can't. Just so happened this brother can't. You're not that dude. So, I just let y'all see it. All right? I just let y'all see it. So, no further ado. Y'all know what to do. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and what? That notification bell to get the next what video. So let's check it out, people. Let's go. All right, let's keep going. Let me see if I got any guys in queue. Happy 2024. We got a lot of ladies in queue. Oh, I think I got a guy. I would like to get a guy. Hello? Hey, Kendra G. Hey, you've been here before, honey. Yeah, and, and, I, and I had some rough experiences with somebody that I met off here. So you have an update? Yes, I do. Okay, what's your update, honey? Well, <clears throat> One of the females, it was a, actually it was quite a bunch of females that was hitting my inbox, and they came to my channel, and we started like you know conversing with between each other and stuff like that, and uh, we ended up meeting. I flew her out. She was from uh, somewhere in Virginia, something like that, Southern girl, and um, everything was going good. She was nice, and you know we, we, she was nice. She was looking good. And everything was going right up until when it was time to make have sexual intercourse. Well, what happened? We're all waiting to hear what, what happened. The woman smelled so bad. I couldn't even I couldn't even get arousal. <laughs> I couldn't even get arousal if I wanted to. Like I said, like, man, you represent Kendra G. You wait, represent wait, Kendra wait, wait. G. Wait, wait. On, this is Kendra G. Wait, this, wait. You, this is what you uh, pause, giving us? Pause, pause. Now, I love all y'all, but she don't represent me. What you mean she represent me? Okay, so this is where it's all about to go down here. Highly don't advise you guys to get on here and talk about women like this when y'all go on a date off the show. And then you're going to blame it on Kendra. Guys, all this kiss and tell shit, to me, that's not... That shit ain't masculine, man. I just have to say, I don't, I don't know why you dudes are on that level now. Just, I don't know, man. I don't know. But let, let's keep going. How she gonna come on your shit looking for a man and, and or, or whatever the case? No, she then, represent you because she gonna, that's what you attracted. Now, she don't represent I, me. She, she, she came she from this town. I don't even know this girl. <laughs> I don't know this girl Kendra. with the funky ass vagina. I've been telling y'all to wash your ass since the beginning. So well, she should have known, me. Kendra. That woman should have known better, right? That woman should have known, like, your first impression, especially coming from Kendra G's channel, you should have known, like, come on, like, 
like I'm not gonna put her name out there. I won't do her like that. I really want to bad because she should know better. But it, it, she act like she didn't know that her stuff smelled like that. And I'm sitting up there. Is it me? Because when I first was like, I'm like, I know I just didn't cook nothing. I, especially no damn salmon, no fish and perch, none of that. I'm like, dog, because I expected, I expected your by the women coming from over here, because I look at you like a celebrity. So I thought they was gonna have this little celebrity perfume on. The, the coochie gonna smell like grapes, watermelon at least. You know. Come on, brother. Come on. Now you hadn't seen all that popping up on Kendra G's show. I mean, it's probably been about ten good ones that come on with some status like that. Now she has the, she has some, some guests on here. And I ain't seen that man, like you said, coming on here trying to, like he said, smelling like this and looking like celebrities. What channel have you been watching? I mean, let's be real, brother. But you attract what you are. That's what I keep hearing. Oh, and then it, it comes. I thought I thought she was gonna put her best foot, cause I did. All the, the the dick cheese, all that shit was gone. That woman came. I came over there smelling my best, looking my best. You know, I had my 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 wicks retwisted, everything. I was looking fine. She was looking fine, though. I ain't gonna lie. But the thing is, cause I could have easily told, like, okay, okay. Just let's let's do it in the shower. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I could have easily told her that, but just the fact that she come from over here, I I thought it was like, man, is she trying to set me up? Did she really want to fuck with me like that or or what? She come from over where? Here. Here. Where That's where I'm at. Where, 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 you got these women out here smell like booty. I just want like shit, but let me say something to you, Jay. Let's start with you. Give me some backstory to who you are again. Now you have, you got kids. Like, what was your, what was your situation? Where are you from, Jay? You can tell Kendra's starting to like get a little agitated with him because he keep throwing it off on her. Like, like these girls coming from her house or something. Like, I don't know these people person. They just pop up on damn screen or something. But she about to dig into him now because now she about to, she about to bring the list out on him. You know how she bring everybody else? She about to bring the list out on him and, and we tag on that ass a little bit. But, dude, come on. You're setting yourself up, man. You're setting yourself up. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And how many kids uh, do you have? I have, I, now I have my baby mothers. They gave me custody of, uh, I already had custody of one, and I got custody of my other two daughters, two, five, and 10. I've been doing that for the past year, and how many I've been kids raising you have, my Jay? three and how, a few by, by how many women? Two that we know of. Then I got a few. Part of, I got one allegedly one in Mississippi, uh, and one in Texas allegedly. So do you have three kids with two possibles? Yeah. So you might have five kids. Yeah, with four baby mamas. Well, that's why you attract women with vagina that smell bad. That's no, come on, Kendra G. Get. I thought I was going to get the Kendra G special. Four baby mamas with, with three kids and a two possible, you're going to get stinky ass vagina women that's going to reach out to you. Because, because, G, the women who, yeah. because let me give it to you real. Because the women who vagina smell good ain't hitting you up, Jay. And that's just a fact. You need to learn in 2024. You coming up here like you deserve good smell. I just vagina. thought women ain't supposed to have that coochie smell like that. They period. Mean, you're right. A woman's coochie should not smell bad, but that's what the kind of woman you gonna get. So tell her to wash her ass, fix her up, and make it better. Cause you're not gonna get the top tier vagina with a resume like that, Jay. God dang it, dang it, bro. She got a point. She got a point. Dang, bro, you such a you out here being a serial baby daddy. And you come on here trying to talk trash, boy. I can't say nothing. Because if he was a woman with, with that resume, I would be talking trash. Yeah, I would. I would. He didn't do us no justice on this one, fellas. No. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, 
brother. Damn. I wanted, I wanted to, I hate to say it, but I wanted to fight that woman. But because I was so, I was so, my hopes was up high. You, you know how your that's hopes like, used to like, be up just high? Like men, just like men be telling women, you need to start realizing your real reality of who you can date. Some of you men out here reaching for the stars that you ain't going to get the stars. Jay, you got three kids with two possibles. You're not going to get a top tier woman like that. So if this vagina smell bad, go get her some dove. You said she looked good. Fix her up and make her the woman that you want her to be. Because all these good, classy-ass vaginas ain't going to reach out to you, Jay. Oh, oh, you just hurt my whole soul. Why you say that? Because no, what was the so classy-ass vagina so that got with so, three well, baby mamas well, and up. two possibilities? Who going to do so, that? Well, Jay? hold up. But well, hold up. What's that? What's that woman? Uh, who? Uh, Russell Wilson, Sierra. So Sierra can have men can be stepfathers, right? And men can men can come into a woman's vicinity and not know who her baby daddy really is, and be a That's stepdad. You mean you tell me women can't be a stepmama? Hold up, hold up. Before you even get before this dude, before Kendra get him, but just everybody, everybody, stop using celebrities. As an example, when you're trying to explain something. Celebrities, millionaires do different shit. You can't do what they do. Period. Why are you bringing up Russell Wilson and Sierra to explain your situation? What? 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 Make, bro, you're too old. Come on, man. I know you're trying to be funny something. I know you got a channel out there. And you're trying to be funny and trying to get jokes. Come on, man. We can't be out here doing this, fellas. Come on. I know y'all want to get some clicks out there, but nah, not like that, man. Nah, you can't make yourself look like this. Come on, man. Hold on real quick. If you want to tell the Sierra story, you tell the full Sierra story. First of all, she had one child. We knew who the father was. She's also worth millions of dollars. She's in circles that he also, was more. hold on real quick. You just can't talk about, that's not Sierra's story. She didn't come with five baby daddies and five kids. She came with one child, one child, okay? Russell Steve Wilson, Harvey, hold on, Steve hold, on, Harvey. hold on, hold on, and we're gonna further talk about Sierra. She had three children for her husband. So she ain't the woman that you qualify for. Uh, well, like Steve Harvey, he went over there and played stepdaddy to all them kids. And but but women don't got no problem you with us playing stepdaddy. Okay, I can't Jay, get a good stepmama. Okay, first of all, Jay, let's talk about the men. You name two multi-millionaire men. They will always be able to get top-tier women. So unless you got 10 million or more in your bank. You better settle for the, the, the vagina that you got to get it together. Because you got three baby mamas and two possibilities. You are now on the same level as Russell Wilson and Steve Harvey. But Steve Harvey woman that he went down ain't no top tier. She was with one of those people. I want to say about Margie Harvey, but she's fly as hell to be at her age. Not no she more. She, not no more. She, she don't got her shit like she used to. This? How about this? All you men stop talking about Steve Harvey's wife because Steve Harvey already told y'all that he about his wife. So y'all can sit and be on YouTube talking to Kendra G, but her husband rocked for her. So are you men jealous of Margie Harvey's wife? Her husband already shut y'all asses down. That's why y'all ain't I'm got jealous of the fact that I don't even know why he brought up Margie because she might have had a, a little shady pass, but ain't nobody passing up Margie. Nah. She's gonna get picked. She's a good looking woman. Let's just be for real. And she keep herself looking good. She ain't you ain't gonna see her out of her out of her feminine qualities. You're not gonna see it. For him to bring that up and say whatever. Yeah, she cause she out of pad. Most people do when they get that age. But shit. She land a damn millionaire. You know, Steve no. But Guys, stop acting like y'all won't get with these women. That's what kills me. Y'all out here talking trash, like, but y'all know y'all will get with these girls. If Marjorie Harvey hit him up right now, his ass jumping in that damn station wagon and hauling ass up there to see her. Let's be real, bro. Let's just be real. Guys, we can't clown ourselves. Come on. You're not making no sense on this woman's show right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have your back, but I can't. You, you're not, you're not on point, man.
Let's go. Get get your shit together. Let's go. Uh, no, I'm just I'm mad. At, I'm not jealous of her. I'm mad at the fact that us men, especially I was brought up around women, single mama homes, right? And they told me that if I find a special woman, don't matter if she got kids and all this other type of stuff. If, if you love that, you, you if you, you can't accept a woman for who she is and and everything that come with her, don't take that woman. As far as like with her kids, so that stuff was implemented in in us men. That's why you see majority black men his stepfathers, right? Especially coming up. But now when the shoes get flipped, we can't get that privilege? Are you serious? Well, listen, I don't know who taught you that lesson, but they should have taught you the lesson. Whoever you have a child with, marry her and start a family. Because we talking about- We don't do some families as I made it. When you talk, you got three kids by three different women and two other possible women potentially. So that's two five women. women that might have your children all together. And yet you are on my show looking for a new woman. So you couldn't sit down with one of those five women and start and build a, a two family household. So all these people that was giving you life lessons when you yeah. was a child, they should have said whoever you have a baby with, marry her and start the family. So you gotta be on Kendra G show one day looking for baby mama number six. But Kendra G, I have seen women came on your channel and expected the most, and their situation was either like mine's or even worse. I have said and you didn't, and you didn't come that hard on them. That is not listen. I okay. said to this. No, hold on. First of all, Jay, I'm going hard on you because it's your third time on my show. So this is not your first time on my show, but I got to give it to you hard the third time because you're calling back for a third time. So now it's your reality check time. Now you need to understand the woman that you really qualify for. So that's why I'm going so hard. Second thing is all day long, we talk about the delusional women on my- I think I at least qualify with the woman- That's, that's, that's what we hear about all day long. And I'm not here to negate. There are delusional women that call on my show. But Jay, you happen to represent the delusional men tonight. Damn, bro. Damn. Delusional dude. God, dog. He gonna make us start all over. You done came on here and put us back 15 years, man. About to lose your man card. That's what about to happen with him. But you don't think I'm you don't think I'm worthy enough for some woman with some good smelling pussy? No. So I, I deserve and I qualify for some stank coochie. I, I, I think you get the I got think, kids. Hold on. I think you I think you get the same coochie and you fix it up. You get her some dove. You you teach her some hygiene. You make her, but the woman that got good smelling coochie ain't just naturally reaching out to you. That you that is fucked up. You you know you telling this to all us men. That's him. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you ain't not all us men. We we don't get the stink coochie over here. No, we don't move like that. No. You get the stink coochie. You even came on national platform and said you got the stink coochie. Like I say, sometimes why you don't run your mouth, man, because now you're looking crazy on here. Don't put that shit on us. No, buddy. You in that stink house by yourself. Nah, not us. Mm -mm. No, sir, buddy. No. What's your pool of women too? Y'all, you up here talking about Sierra like Sierra was an option for you, Jay. She could have been. I got swag. Kendra G, I thought women when 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 it comes to women, I think I thought the idea is like I thought men and no, hear me out, Kendra G. I thought men inflicted what women should want out of a man as far as like finances, right? But throughout my life. I have got women that I thought I couldn't even get because I didn't have no finances. And I quit and I throughout time I realized what women is attracted to is not what we think what not what men think what women should be attracted to. I think a lot of times what's currency to women is a man a male a personality, the character of the man, how he can make her feel emotionally, how he can connect with her emotionally. And when and like I'm Type of guy when a woman get around me, she usually have fun. She be relaxed. She, I, I know how to make a woman be completely herself, and I can connect with her mentally. So I got all of these qualities, and women is more attracted to that. And Kendra G, for your info, I have seen women will leave this high class, high earning man, right? Because only thing this man got is money. He he cheating on her every day because he got money, right? 
majority of majority of these high value men is not loyal to you, not faithful to you. He don't you just another number of all of his chicks. Whereas a nigga like me, I'm treating you like I'm acknowledging who you are. I'm making your voice be heard. I make your presence be heard. I'm giving you a little attention, a little bit, not sweating you, but I'm giving you a little attention, make you feel like a human being. And when you get around me, you can just be one, honey, and we just laugh. We talk. Dude, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you talking about? Oh, I make a, oh, I make a dance. I make him feel like that. I, the, the, uh. You started out trying to sound like a, like a man. Now you sound like what? Like putting pie up in here. Ding, ding, look, I, buh, 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 buh. Sit your ass up. Sit up. Stick your damn chest out. And stop this crying shit. No woman want that. Dudes, y'all stop. <sighs> no. Talk. I can talk to you, Kim G. Me and you conversate. Me and you can be conversating for to the morning we wake up. No, the, the hell morning we wouldn't. No, the hell, no, the hell we would not. We conversate. This is the only, this is the only exchange we ever going to have on this damn YouTube channel. But let me say this, Jay. You talking a lot of good game, but you also have three baby mamas and two potential babies. Oh, that's a hindrance? Hold on. Two potential baby mamas. So that's five women. Why couldn't you settle down with any of the women that had your children? Be, 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 because it's just like asking a woman that's sitting around here that got a, a high body count, one, and also got all of these baby daddies. How come you can... How come all of those men? I'm you. We're talking to you it, right now, Jay. They never decide to marry you because you're, you're you're the one here with this dissertation and saying how what you were oh, talking about. You said you this great. Hold on, hold on. You said you this great, 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 hold on, hold on. You said you this great man. Women have fun with you. You all these great qualities. Why have you not settled down with any of the women that had your children? What, what, what Kendra G? It's not like I'm doing this on purpose, right? Because I'm at an age where now, like waking up, seeing different women. It's embarrassing to me now. Now I feel like it's un unstable compared to when I was in my younger years. I thought that I was the shit. But now, now I'm like 38 and I'm like, damn, I'm waking up with different women. That's not cool at all. I feel disgusted. So I started practicing sexual discipline and I, I just been trying to find that right one. And shit, I think I at least deserve something. And I didn't think having children for a man is is a hindrance but i don't never hear women tell tell women all of these expectations when they want expectations but they got a lot of kids men is told to love a woman and accept her for who she is and the package that come with her how come you ain't pushing up women off on me well i already told well first of all jay i already told you the reason why i'm going hurt my hold, jay, you, hold on. this negro said you hurt my feelings now, and this is the thing, I had to look at this, because I know I did a video not long ago. Y'all remember the 38-year-old that wanted to be a OnlyFans? The girl with the white refrigerator in the back? He's 38. Three, three definite kids, two possible, five different women. Yeah, it's going to look bad, bro. It's going to look bad. And I tell people all the time, all that stuff count when you're looking for quality. You can get quantity. You could, and more people that's on that range, that range, you could keep getting. But when your own stock look trashy, you're gonna pick up trash. I just, I'm just gonna be honest. Well, I tell my my sons, nephews, and all of them, hey, woman with a bunch of kids, got kids, not your responsibility, especially because they're all young. No, not your responsibility. Move on. Don't even date them because you give it. Don't even get wrapped up in that. There's no need to be spreading yourself knowing that you're not going to be with the girl and be around these kids like that. There are men out here that's looking for that. Honestly, they are. And women, y'all have to just find those dudes. But these single dudes, they got it going on, and y'all think they're going to come and contribute monetarily to your situation? Not their responsibility. And they're learning more and more now, and y'all know it. This dude here going to be the same thing. Nobody want to be in here and you got all these baby moms I got to deal with now. You crazy. Then tell me you hurt my feelings. God dang it. And you're 38 and you act like... We both can't talk. 
This is your third time on my show. You'll post only get two times. So at the third time, it's time for me to just keep it funky and real with you. 2024. If you want to understand why you not attracting that woman with good smelling vagina, this is the reason why. So you got the, the one move vagina smell bad. You could just fix it up. You could have kept it real with her, said, baby, we got to work on this hygiene. Got her some dub. You said she, you said she looked good. So that was just one area I got to work on. A woman that really has her stuff together, she's probably not, just like a man who really got their stuff together, might not be reaching out to the woman that got three baby daddies or four baby daddies. She might not get this guy that she desires. She might got to work with the man she get. So let's be clear. The only reason I'm going this hard with you is because it's your third time calling me up. So I got to go hard now because you coming up here acting like you Steve Harvey or Russell Wilson and baby boy. I feel like I'm a shit. So you're going to just put up, you just going to inflate my ego like that. I'm not inflating your nothing. I'm just giving it, keeping it real to you. So you can understand that the woman that had the smelly vagina, that was your, that was God's blessing to you. We should have got you some dove, helped her wash um, her ass and rock life out. Okay, well, to be honest with you, I might not think I'm Russell Wilson, but I think I'm a better uh, father than Steve Harvey. I'm raising my kids. I don't I don't raise no no other man kids, especially put no other man kids above mine. To me, I think being your father being a uh, fatherhood is the top pinnacle of a man, right? I'll be honest. I, I don't even know what this dude talking about. Why you keep talking about Steve Harvey and all these? You a better father than Steve Harvey? I mean, I don't know nothing about Steve Harvey and how he fathering his kid. But why is that? So you jealous of Steve Harvey and Russell Wilson, what you're saying? You comparing yourself with millionaire celebrities and you getting stink coochie. Is anybody else getting this shit like I'm getting it? Why? Like, like just like, I'm, I mean, we seeing it now, guys, how some of these women come on here and with that delusion. Like, it's a lot of stuff I want to say about old boy, but... Uh, I'm trying to just keep it on level. I try not to say too much about these women when they come on, but instead we got to address it. And I've done the dress with the fellas. Do not, do not do this shit. If you're going to talk about her, talk about it. Like I said, it's your third time on here. What are you looking for? Your third time and you still getting raw coochie? Nobody hitting you up? Your third time? And this what you get? Damn. I made me go back and evaluate, like reevaluate my life like, what what going on with me? Well, I'm getting women that smell and my third time and I ain't got no pics. Oh. oh. Dude. No. Guys, we gotta do better, man. We gotta do better. We got to do better. And I got three beautiful black daughters where they can't say that I look I done left graveyards in, in their hearts and stuff like that. They wake up every day seeing their father. So I do believe that. Yeah, Steve Harvey, he more in a, the the uh, limelight, but I think I'm a better father than that nigga. You don't even and know I'm him. A, I don't think I would stop talking about celebrities like y'all really know celebrities. You don't even know Steve Harvey besides what you see posted on television, so you can't speak from that perspective. Jay, we gotta go though. So, are you up here really trying to meet somebody? Yes, else? I'm up here trying to. I'm up here trying to at least find a woman that will at least come up here from Kendra G. Representation. Please, please, shit. Wet wipes, some before you come to my fucking hotel. Clean your ass. I, I should have, that's not too much ass for Kendra G. Come on. You, I shouldn't be meeting women. Like, come on. How, how could the woman reach out to you, honey? Um, On my channel, J Prince for President, the same way the other woman is on my name. J Prince. Oh, that's a J Prince for the street. I got another channel. But Jay Prince for president um, on my YouTube channel. That's how I met the other one. And we end up, you know, in Boston and I brought it on my so channel. After, so, after, so after that smelly vagina gate, you ended everything. Well, I had to, I had to um, put, her, like, put her down slowly. It, it was like, I didn't just say, I'm cut loose. I didn't want to do it like that because I was thinking about the respect for you. Right, I didn't want to ah, teach your people badly like that. What you mean the respect for me? Just like you don't really represent me, you just want my show. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but I don't want to make put it like this. You got to think about this though, Kendra. Let's just say people come on here, they meet people, and let's just say 
people do some harm. Let's say they try some crazy people. That's not on me. On I say in the whoever you know, that's not on me. It says it in the beginning. Whoever you meet is at your own risk. Kendra G is not reliable or liable for anybody you meet. So that's on you. But what you got to realize, Jay, and I stand by law of attraction. So whoever you are attracted is somebody like yourself. And unless you're going to change yourself, you're going to you're going to keep attracting yourself. So start. So so you want to put the responsibility on everybody in the world except for your ass. Now, whoever reaches out to you is because of you. And it's that simple. Happy uh, 2024. We got to go. Okay. So, ladies, there it is. There it is. There it is. There's some more. I got some more I'm going to bring on. I guess I just got to show guys, like, don't do this. All that kiss and tell shit coming on the show and telling, oh, because there's another girl, she just did this too. And she came on and talking trash about the dude, but she gave it up the first night she got there. Drove eight or ten hours to get there. Slept with the dude, got in an argument, and drove back home. But then you come on the show and talk trash about the dude. Not realizing how you made yourself look. That's what dude did. You came on and talk trash about this girl, smelly vagina, but end up making yourself look look crazy. Come on, guys, man, we don't do this. We don't we don't do this. We don't have to do this. But like I say, you gonna get what you are, you keep uh, You've been on this show three times, and the best you could pull was a chick that smell. Then you come on here talking trash. Like you said, you should. Now, what you didn't say is, did you hit it? Did you still hit it? Because some of you guys still putting it in the shower, hitting it with the dove, and then y'all laying down with it right after that. So you can't talk too much trash if you still laying down with it. Like she said, clean the girl up. Hell, maybe she ain't know. Maybe she had a bad day, a long drive. I don't know. But just don't do it and come on here and then talk trash about it. That ain't what we do. Like I said, no. Nah. The other dude, he did that. That ain't what we gonna do. We ain't gonna do that here. But guys, I appreciate y'all dropping in, hanging out with your brother. And as always, make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, share. And as always, always, and always, it is your boy. Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace. All right, all right.